sucks that every time I saw her, I wanted a fucking punch her in the throat and slam her head against the wall. What's going on, Lesby fam? So this past week, we lost a family member. Um, he was very young, he was like 36, 37, 38, young. And um, I absolutely hate that the last time I spoke to him, I went off on him. He was, he's a very kind, sensitive guy. And that day he was just being hella weird. And I went off on him because he was kind of picking on the boys and I didn't like it. So I went off on him and I absolutely hate that that's the last conversation that I had with him. So with that being said, I have a sibling that has not accepted me my sibling would leave me voicemails, leave me messages on the answering machine, on the, the landline. What is a landline for you youngsters? <laughs> and it sucks that every time I saw her, I wanted a fucking punch her in the throat and slam her head against the wall like I was so angry with her. I didn't understand why she would be so cruel, why, and leave awful messages. Like, I wouldn't even do that with my someone that I disliked. But recently, actually a long time ago, I forgave my sibling for every, all the pain that she has caused me. I forgave them. Whether they deserved it or not, I forgave them. And up until recent events, my siblings started asking, hey, you know, I wanna get to know the kids. And for me, I'm like, you know what? If I'm at a family function or and you're there, you go ahead and talk to them. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be a bitch and be like, no, you can't. Because then that's gonna I'm gonna have this hate in my heart. And then clearly, if I don't allow that then I truly never forgave my sibling, you know? And I feel like it's important to forgive, not necessarily to forget because it's always gonna be there, but definitely to forgive, not for the other person's sake, but for your own sake, for your own heart, because you guys don't know how angry I was growing up like from 19 to 28 how angry I was and you know it has subsided a lot um but I'm not that angry person like yeah I could put a front to everyone with this smile be cheerful and let that be my defense mechanism but inside I was hurting you guys have no idea I mean, I'm sure a lot of you know how it feels to be shunned by a family member or your entire family, but I would hate if something were to happen to my sibling and me not forgiving them or me being a complete bitch to them because of the hurt that was caused on me and on Leslie. And. Like I said earlier, I absolutely hate that the last conversation I had with my cousin, I went off on him because he was like kind of picking on my kids. Like, I, and I didn't like it, but I know that something was going on with him that's out of his character 
He's a complete sensitive guy and super funny and super cool down to earth. But I just did not like that. And I hate, like, I, I can't stop reiterating that I hate that, that was our last conversation. And I would hate if something were to happen to my sibling and I had all this hate in my heart. But that would hurt me so much. And I'd rather forgive my sibling whether they know it or not, whether they asked for forgiveness or not, for this, for my sake. And I feel if you have any type of hate, any type of resentment, you need to forgive whomever has caused you so much pain because you truly do not know when the next time you are going to speak to them. Life is short. The only thing certain in life is death. That's our rite of passage. Birth and death. And you need to learn to forgive. To have a clear conscience. To have a heart that not necessarily is pure, but you don't have that ache, you don't have that resentment, you don't have that hate, that nasty, that nasty feeling of just being angry. Like, it's, it's draining. Like, I don't know. It's easier said than done. And it took me a long time to forgive my sibling. And I'm actually really happy that I did because when I do see her, I give her a hug. I don't even know if my sibling accepts me and my wife. I don't know if she finally realizes that, you know, she was hateful and she was... Even though I forgive my sibling, I don't know if my sibling's okay with my lifestyle. I hate saying lifestyle because it's not a lifestyle. Life is too damn short to hold on to all that hate, to hold on to any resentment or any anything negative. With that being said, let's be fam. I love y'all. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe tell a friend to subscribe and let me know if you agree with what i said or if you disagree or you're neutral or whatever it is let me know how you feel about this video i'm out